Hello, everybody. Welcome to Writing Quest Reviews, where I talk about a uh, book or a movie or something that I'm watching or reading right now. And today we are going to be talking about Star Wars The High Republic, The Rising Storm by Kevin Scott. I just finished it a couple days ago, and um, I was a big fan. It's Star Wars. I'm always a big fan. But without further ado, huzzah! Huzzah! All right, so today we're talking about The Rising Storm, and I just got to say um, 4.7 out of 5. I really loved it. I thought it was great. Um, I will talk about what that 0.3% uh, is, but um, I really have nothing more than praise for this. I loved uh, Light of the Jedi as well by Charles Soule. Love this one too. You can check out that review as well. And... Um, I really just can't say enough. I love that the time period they're in, I love that they can just explore freely without being encumbered by the Skywalker saga and having to deal with all that. I just think they did a really smart move here. We've we've had a lot of controversy in the Star Wars universe. I don't know if you've noticed that. But uh, they they just did a smart move. They moved it to a timeline that we've never been in before. It didn't go back all the way to the old Republic, so they didn't have to deal with all that. But they're also not in the the new Republic and all that kind of stuff. So they just did a really good job picking that time period. And what's cool about it too is the settings are like it's still like Star Wars that we know. It's very similar, but it's just like kind of newer. There's just different parts. It's not quite as developed as we know it to be in the future. So I really liked the um, the dichotomy they have between kind of the two main Jedi, which are Stellan and Elzar. I think they did a really cool job of like showing the two different personalities of those two characters and just kind of the brotherhood they have, but also how they don't like, I have four brothers. You've seen Aiden on the show. Uh, we have three other brothers and just seeing the, um, the, the, how they wrote that brotherhood is very similar. You know, you're on the same team, you're, you're doing things together, but you're also not always agreeing and sometimes you're fighting and, um, working with Elzar too, like his kind of foray into, um, you know, struggling with the light and the dark side and all that kind of stuff. I just think they did a great job. I really liked that they upped the um, the the nil. I don't know how to say it. The nil, Nile, nil. I think it's the nil. I like how they upped the danger from them because that was kind of, which obviously it says in the title, the rising storm. But in Light of the Jedi, it kind of felt like they were there. They were a bad guy, but it was like not a big deal, I guess, um, which I think that was kind of the point. Um so I'm really glad that, to see that up to the danger of like, oh, this is a threat we really need to deal with. And I also really liked that they showed, um, you know, this Republic fair is going on and they're trying to show this unity. And then it just, you know, it, they just did a really good job. One of my favorite things that Kevin Scott did is a writing style choice that when I first read it, I was really, I was confused. I was like, I had to reread these passages a couple of times to figure it out, but he has a couple of points in the book. Once I figured it out, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. He writes it in a way that's kind of like a one shot in a movie. So like you start with one character and then as those, like the word, like in one scene, it'll just switch characters and switch characters and switch characters. So you're kind of seeing, like if I was imagining it in a movie, it's kind of like a scene where you start here and then uh, the Avengers fight scene is a great example from the first Avengers movie where they start with this character and then it leads you to the next one and the next one, but there's no cuts. It's just one shot. When I first read it, I was like, what? Is, this is so good. I had to like reread it. I couldn't figure out what's going on. And then when I was like, oh, this is really genius. He did a cool thing. So that was one of my favorite things, of course, after I realized it was happening. Maybe I'm just not very good at reading. I don't know. Um, the only thing, the 0.3 out of the uh, 4.7, there's so many characters. <laughs> I was really struggling to keep track of who I kept having to go back or look up like who I'm dealing with or like I couldn't keep it all straight. And part of that is because I don't generally read books with a ton of characters. That's just something that I, you know, 
if there's too many characters, I I just lose track of who it is. So part of that started kind of in Light of the Jedi. And then there was just even like, I just felt like there was more. I had the same problem with Light of the Jedi. I felt like it was more here. Maybe it's not actually more. I don't know. But Ultimately, at the end of the day, I think it's a great story. I think they're doing a great job. I'm really excited for the third one. I haven't read the – I have the two young adult ones. Um, I forget the names of those, but I'll put them here and here. Um, But I'm really excited for the third one. I think they're doing a great job. I love this whole era, and I hope you like it as much as I do. Thank you for watching. This has been Writing Quest Reviews. My name is Brendan. Huzzah! Quest with you.